Is it chocolate flavored moose milk? Or is it a way to disguise a bottle of whiskey? Here we are, we're at the Mission Thrift Store in Fergus. It's a fairly large place, plenty to see, lots to look at. And even outside they have a compound and they even had this blanket dryer sitting out there. Children's outdoor furniture. They have these plastic barrels. They're often used by some of the migrant workers to uh, purchase items and ship them home. Uh, the bicycles, honestly, 125. I suppose for some, it's a reasonable price. Maybe they do actually do some basic servicing on them before putting them out for sale. Well, in any case, come tour with me vicariously. So you don't have to necessarily go everywhere to see these places. All right, so here we are. We're just entering the vestibule at the front door. And just beyond that, we get into the store. There's a bunch of interesting things there in the vestibule as well. Uh, once we're in the store, which we were in now, it's uh, the, the, the entrance part has the clothing and in one corner it's got the books and recorded media, CDs and so on. There's another corner we'll get to in a bit uh, with the, the sporting goods. Well, so here we are, we're looking through. There's uh, an actual shirt. It's made in Hawaii. As you can see, I did pick this up. It is actually currently available online, but not in this size any longer. So if uh, somebody has a need for it, uh, shoot me a message. and uh, maybe we can work out something for you. So, there's the jewelry counter and other collectibles that are like, oh, um, coins and such. And the s smaller electronic items. So they've got this little well, the store displays from stores that are no longer using it. It's a nice way to display them. Same with it, some of the other displays they use in the jewelry counter. Some of them are items that are donated to the store, uh, not from a, a retail location, but... Yeah. Pretty good collection, selection of uh, items. Some of them are vintage, some of them may even be antique. Uh, some, there may be some designer pieces there for all I know. Here's some of the electronics. Like I said, there's some what they consider higher value ones. Looks like it might be a Tilly hat there. Some other necklaces and other jewelry here. It's a fairly extensive array of uh, counters with the jewelry in it. And right behind that, you end up seeing the uh, jewelry, out of the furniture, I should say. Some interesting signs that they also have. Uh, the furniture isn't necessarily all that ancient. They do have some uh, vintage fabrics and tablecloths and throws and things of that nature. There may be some that are more contemporary as well, so you get the pick. Some uh, bags, some curtain bits and pieces as well. So there's lots to look at. It's a good sized store. And we swung around, we saw some more of the furniture there, or the clothing. 
and they're selling the wheelchair. Usually wheelchairs are very custom. Here we're moving into the shoes and unfortunately there were some other shoppers in the area so I can't I wasn't able to keep the video that shows on the right hand side where there were other accessories including this hat. Uh, they picked this hat up because it was made in Texas. It's an okay price, considering it's made in the USA. Picked up a similar type hat from from another uh, mid-range department store for a couple of bucks more, different color. Here's the f um, sporting goods corner that I was referring to earlier. And here we've jumped across the store again to the the showcases with the glassware and uh, a little statuary and all that. That's right at the front. As you can see, it's out. You can see through the windows. It's at the front of the store, but the um, exit's in the middle. So this is on the on the one on the one side. The entrance is on the opposite side of this quite the uh, interesting collection they seem to have been some of the donors must have been traveling somewhat to have uh, amassed some of these interesting items in their collection not necessarily that uh, they are anything of high value but then we get the moose milk now, that was just humorous and they have a section of uh, just Christmas items so if you're looking for anything of that nature, there's a section here. Not a huge selection, but not bad. Even some gift bags that if you're looking for. A bunch of uh, framed and unframed prints. Now we picked up this print of the arrow. It has personal connection to me. Uh, in still indirect even at that and did a, a bunch of other things some precious little uh, salt and shaker pa salt and paper salt and pepper shakers and here we're getting into them tools you saw a bit of the furniture some of the uh, s small kitchenware small small appliances for the kitchen as well they have some electronics. Um, uh, there's a mixer there. Sound mixer. It was an okay price for a vintage item. It's solid state. Some of the uh, prints may be faded, so you have to keep an eye on that. Some electronic, electrical stuff, items like uh, light ceiling lights and similar extension cord even or an extension with a light on the end clocks wind up clocks there so the hard goods section is uh, quite varied from glassware to uh, ceramics and tin plate so here we got some candle candlesticks some picture frames up next and we move along here we get into some of the nicer glass and that's about it well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this give us a thumbs up it'd be greatly appreciated subscribe would be good for you as well be helpful to us and if you want to be notified of the next video as it comes out put a mark on the bell and you'll be notified by youtube thanks a lot folks bye bye